or 15 people to What's this? carry it. It's a 10 by 20 foot uh, flag from, I think it's from 1889. And you would take it out for a parade? You would? Yeah, if we can find enough people to carry it. I do. But we've also lowered it uh, a couple Conway Village Festival days. We, we well, we raised it first uh, up on the under the portico of Kennett High School, mm -hmm. and it just fits nicely there. It's very spectacular. Oh, I think something. I've seen that. If not on video, <laughs> maybe on Remember When. <laughs> what is this? That's a corn chopper. A corn chopper. Yeah, you put a sheaf of corn in, and then this, we're missing a piece somewhere, but this goes here. Ah, see, stuff. Raymond would know that. Have you done Raymond yet? No. I've been doing Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get back like over months. there. Everybody in, everybody in New Hampshire keeps saying, have you done Raymond yet? And I keep asking Raymond, and Raymond keeps saying, oh, I'll do it, but I'll tell you when. Are you shy? He likes you better. <laughs> we called him son. Okay, wait a minute. Here we are. Okay. Grover Cleveland's Long Johns. Oh, man. Those... Wow. Holes and everything. <laughs> he, was, he was a big fan. Allie, go stand next to those. Let's see if you'd fit in now a leg. Does George fit into those? Oh, at least. We could all get in these. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. They're taller than you, too. <laughs> you could really fit in one leg. <laughs> About 15 years ago, I photographed a wedding up there on the estate. The grand, great, 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 great granddaughter, or whatever. George's sister. His granddaughter. Oh, she's the granddaughter? Of course the granddaughter of Grover Cleveland. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, George was, great time, very nice George was telling me that they have stretched the generations as far as they can possibly stretch. His, his kids are like 200 years younger than their grandparents or some, something like that. I mean, it's an amazing... Yeah. Okay, well, that's why I, why I would think they would be... Because Grover was, was old lady. when he had Mama. George's father, and then George's father was old when he had him. Wow. A corset. Okay, show me the corset, Allie. There. Oh, man. Do you realize, Allie, that this bed folds up into kind of a desk? Yeah. <laughs> Bureau? What is it called? A These were A.C. Kennett slippers. Oh. I saw those slippers. Did you see those slippers? Look, they got little stretchers in them, and they have little bags, so you can put Ooh. them in them when they're polished and leave them beside this chair. And slippers being slippers around the house are yeah. really... Wow, they look fancy. Well, he was a fancy guy. <laughs> And is that the Kenneth from in town here? Yes, yeah. Well, you see, Kenneth was the one for whom the high school was named. Oh. A. Crosby Kenneth High School. Oh, okay. So, what generation is Byard? Uh, Byard is a grandson of A.C. Kenneth. Look at. What do you see? Never get Mark Wiggins. I'm not uh, <laughs> I got got Ralph sense. a couple times. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Well, there you go. Come in here, let's see the corset. Okay. Mark, Mark was like the funniest. Quick. Mommy, look at Come get the corset. He was. Mm. All of the Wiggins are funny, but Mark was the funniest. Uh -huh. I only have a tiny bit of video of Mark. I actually don't even know where that is. Look at this hat, Allie. I did his portrait once. <laughs> uh, Doc got in a black and white with a view camera. Look at all I these hats. Pull. It was a beautiful Polaroid. He gave it to him. Stick in the woods, sitting out in the snow. What is that? A woman's hat or a man's hat? <clears throat> oh, that's a, that's an old tie corner hat. That's an original uh, beaver skin. Yes, it. That's very ancient. What year? Oh, don't touch um, it. Pre eighteen hundred, I think. Oh, don't touch it. Yeah, don't touch it. That's huh? <laughs> It's very old. You have tons of clothes. We do. Six Mile Pond. <laughs> Look at these black. What do you think of that, Allie? Allie, go see the lady. Oh, look at a fur muff. That's how they put their hands in it and keep their hands warm, like mittens. Was it called a before? You kind of have a muff. It looks like a muff. <laughs> you wrapped your hands. You look like you're wearing one. I did like this. You did. Now this is the black room. <sighs> What's the story behind an outfit like that? Uh, that's a morning. It is? Yeah. 
What's the story behind that dress with the pink skirt under it? Oh, wow, look at that. She wants to know about the pretty dress in the closet. Is that it? Who did this now? The painting? Yeah. It was from the Conway House, and I think it was Hotel Art. Huh. I think it was probably, you know, painters who did art specifically that, 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 in that scale that. for hotels, because wow. it's a, a scale that's just too big for private homes. Do you know whose dress this morning was? No. What, it's a little black? Oh, she did. I said, is that an umbrella? <laughs> yeah, that's like a just, except it's not to keep the rain off, it's to keep the sun off. When you're I don't have black. a parasol. When you're wearing all black, it must be pretty hot. And they wore the, they wore the morning clothes um, different lengths of time, depending on the closest of the relative who died. Like it might be a year if it was your husband, or six months if it's your own <laughs> sister, or that. two months if it's your cousin. Oh my word. And everything, they had black jewelry, they were writing paper, had a black border around it. Well, there you go. This is a uh, shaker cloak. Oh, wow. Look at that. From Sabaday Lake. Sabaday. Wow. Um, a hat, a hat, a hat. Yes, a hat. Oh, a nice little Sabaday kind of Lake. Hat. Where's that? It's in Maine. Oh, I've been, I've been up in that area. I've been up on, it's right on, um, it's below New Gloucester. Yes, yeah. Ray. Yeah, Don't touch I him. went in and um, I didn't get into any of the buildings, but I just was up there. He's they a little puppy. Doing they were still doing little puppy. crafts. Kind yeah, of the way I want to touch him. No, you did. You touched him. Look at him. He's still in there. Yes, the checkered one. I see that. I think they're making him drying herbs. And I see another checkered. They must have used the same material on two different outfits. Yeah, they're making him drying herbs. And I see another checkered. They must have used the same material on two different outfits. Two checkered outfits. Oh, good Lord. Isn't that amazing? Wow, look now, is that a woman? Yeah. Split in the back for a bustle. Wow, that's like very exotic. It's that beautiful. Does it say whose it is? Uh, no, we don't know <laughs> what that one is. This one we know all about. What about it? We used to wear yellow wedding dresses, we just read. <laughs> yeah, white ones are reasonably new. This was uh, made for Helen Eastman, daughter of John Langdon Eastman of North Conway, in 1901 by Mrs. Luigi, and a charge for sewing was six dollars. Oh Allie would pay me six dollars to make her a dress like that. <laughs> she said, we just saw one in the book and she said, oh mom, I want one just like that. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Twelve years later. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, this is the one I was looking for. This one is an original beaded flapper strip. Oh, wow. Weighs a ton. Oh, wow. But imagine how it would move when you did the child stuff. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. What's she doing over there? Oh, man. My understanding is that they had itinerant uh, people who went around and wove the, wove the hair of all your loved ones together. Oh, my word. I saw oh, Plenty of time in those days. Somebody's That's hair. Time. Right, Owen? Allie, this is all different people's hairs from the family woven together. Hey, it's, it's wooden? Mm hmm. But it is. A needle holder on the I inside. You could put pins and needles in there. Or needles, probably. See, Ellen? Wow. Look at that. Somebody had the time to make that. <laughs> there. Here's another thing. Wow. There you go. Al, you go ring it. We'll ring listen it? to it. And then, listen, see the it's bell up there? Oh, oh it's right. over here. It's see this bell. knob? Pull on that as hard as you can. Pull, pull, pull. Put some muscle into it. Oh, might be stronger than you are. Want me to pull it? Oh. That's a tough oh. one. Oh. See the bell rang all the way up there. It's like a trolley car coming through. Oh my goodness. Good job. Had to be loud so you could hear it all the yeah. way <laughs> We should get one of those. We need a bell just like that. 
Can you say thank you again? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. It's been very nice having you. You can